It starts off with the new chapter master as where I'll reveal to the Dark Angels with a um, shiny new model or in his new helmet bearer. Warhammer well, 40k also picks up a new style of play with the uh, new boarding actions. Bastor receives a new model but I just can't find a picture for that one. Um, well, it is in the um, Astro Militum also get a new codexes and units release for order. Oh, this should be up by now. Um, the Parade Nexus also gets a new animated show for the Warhammer Plus. I also did a larger video on the um, new Space Marine Battle Forces release just after Christmas. Uh, you get the Ultramarines, the White Scars. Iron Hands and Silver Handers. Um, to see the previous video for um, one of the, one of the previous videos for the more detailed overview of the prices and all that. Blood Gold can also get a new model called Bryce the Slice, which is just like a skeleton with a big chainsaw. <laughs> the two store anniversary models for this year are also Carl Yod Grindok, an Icelandic name or something. Um, and Talk Lens and Admiral of the First Fleet. Um, they're both really good models. The original one is basically just the colour of the original box, and the other one looks, well, I suppose more original. Um, two new goblins also make their way back to Blood Bowl with Nobler Blackwood and Scrapper Clawhead. They're two crazy looking little orcs. Middle Earth got a couple of new winniches with uh, the Kanji Horseman Warband and the Fredo, Sam and Gollum in Emmanuel um, miniatures for Middle Earth. Necromunda get the Beast Master with Ripper Jacks, the Brute Handler and Cam Gela, and they also get a, another one which is Ajax Gorgoth. Can't find him on here but he's seen him, seen him released. Uh, Lastly, for Horus Heresy, they get a uh, new Horus Ascended model to, um, submitted to the Chaos Powers and a new Typhon Heavy Siege Tank.